Okay, so I'm taking this primer. It's called Hydra Veil by Elamasqua. It's really cool because, see how it looks like it's never been touched before? I take like a little bit out and it is all messed up, but then I put it away and it just goes back to looking pretty and new. I like it because it's hydrating. My skin needs that. This concealer, I just got it in my Ipsy bag. It's by Complex Culture, which I actually really like. I like their products, but I'm not a huge fan of this. It is too light, which is not their fault. That's why I'm putting it underneath my foundation. And then I'm taking my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. It's awesome. I've had it for years. It looks so good. And it actually looks really nice today. I'm not going to lie. Maybe it's because I'm not in my bathroom. But it looks alright. Which is good. Mmm. -hmm. You can't see, but it's like, it is just too light at the end of the day. Which is so funny because literally all my life I've just picked the lightest whatever. And I've, it's pretty much always been smooth on, but not today. Now that I've done that, I'm just going to take my hands. Actually, I'm not going to use my hands because usually I would do that, but I'm not in the bathroom. And I actually just remembered I have this. It's like this. It's a It Cosmetics Heavenly Skin Skin Smoothing Complex Complexion Brush number 704. It says it's groundbreaking anti-aging skin care infused brush hair. So that's cool. Come out, come out. Looks like this. It looks nice. Yes, I will. Okay, so this is Makeup Forever HD. Where does it say? I'm sure it's just the lightest color. Hi, do you want to go out there? Do you want to go out there? Yeah? What's wrong? You want to leave me? it's working usually actually lately I have been doing two pumps but usually I just take one pump and smear it all over my face all right I see you brush um, I'm probably still just gonna use my hands <laughs> but now I'm gonna take this guy I don't know what it is um, like there's nothing on it but I got it for like 20 bucks with a whole set of these, so I'm sure you can just find something on Amazon. I just use this in, make sure it's all buffed in, and now it feels good. Feels dry and set. Alright, now I'm going to take this Tarte concealer. It's too dark for me. It's in medium. It's the Shape Tape. I... I should have gotten a lighter one, but I'm going to use it for contouring. I just use a little, little bit since it's already too dark. And I'm using this flat foundation brush, but I don't know who it's by. And then I'm going to take that other brush again and buff it in. <clears throat> I have this stuck on you eyeshadow primer. I thought I thought it was a concealer and I was using it as a concealer. I was like, why does this suck so bad? And then I read it. And I was like, oh, you just 
I haven't used this as a primer yet, so I actually don't know if it's good. We'll find out. Okay, so since I am so fair, I ended up using these highlighters as my eyeshadow, and I really liked it, so I'm going to continue to do that. But obviously that's not going to be the best thing for a lot of skin tones. So, but what I am using is Complex Cultures Highlighter Duo and Lucid and Afterglow. <clears throat> so I'm going to take this brush, which I adore. It is, oh, this is by Crown. Crown brush. And it is a C455 Infinity Flat Blender. This is the best. I love this for putting highlighter on my under my eyebrow. And then I'm going to take this one in Afterglow. No, actually, I think this is Lucid. I don't really care. Alright, I'm going to take the peachy one and I'm gonna use this wet and wild brush it's the concealer one I remember that pack it on pack it on I've had this for many years it is the naked basics palette and you can see I've used it a lot but I'm going to take this color with this Farrah brush, Eye Contour Brush 635E. And put in the middle. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this one. to blend it. Maybe in. This is really good. I just got it, but it is by Jean Tebou. And it's their eye pen. Oh, I heard one time that you have to do it by the same way, like, so it's more natural for me to put it on like this, but it's more natural for me to continue on in this angle and do it on this side, but they say if you want it to look kind of similar, which I'm assuming you do, you kind of have to do it in the same angle. I was using regular eyeliner for a while because I ran out of an eye marker pen and I was like this is fine but then once I got this back I was like this is so much better. I love it so much more. For the brows I use this eyebrow brush 
I got it in the same one that I got this. It was like a Facebook ad a long time ago when these were really popular. Can you put my elbow in? Okay. I just picked this up randomly one day. I I don't know where. Arch by Billion Dollar Brows. I think I got it at Burlington. Looks like that. It's a little pot. And then just go like that. And wipe it on. Wipe. 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 Sometimes I just leave it like that. But sometimes I do an extra step. Which is, hmm, oh, this came with it, it's billion dollar brows, so I use this brush, I just take some on here and line my brows, I don't line, I don't do a harsh line here. And take what's left and just make that look decent. See how it's like um, growing in down? I kind of go with that. I brush it down like it's growing. And this fluid, fluid. Um, brow easy. Swipe. Swipe. Okay, so now I'm gonna do concealer again because I have dark circles. This is my favorite concealer right now. It is by... Japoneske. Perfecting concealer. I saw like there's a new way to put on, like people used to say, do it like a triangle. Now people are saying, don't do that. Put it here and here. And I was like, girl, you don't have circles like I do. You don't have the struggle. Now I'm going to bring back that elf brush. Mm, nice. This is much better than the other one. It's super creamy. The other one I feel like it's more chalky. And I'm going to take this other concealer brush. That's really good too. I'm a huge fan. Love you. It is by, well it just says Concealer Perfecting by Bo Gachis. It's awesome. This is by Siete, London. Watermelon Burst Setting Powder. I just put it under my eyes. Watermelon sugar pie. Watermelon sugar pie. Watermelon sugar pie. Watermelon sugar pie. Sometimes I put this as a base over my eyeshadow primer. Okay, I'm gonna take this Estate Doomy Pearl. 
Make highlight powder with my let's see this one is by Shiket Bro. Looks like that. And I'm gonna spray it with my makeup setting spray by I think this one's my Modern Beauty. Got it at a hairdresser show. can tell the difference when I put on highlighter, but it's just something you have to do, I guess. I mean, you don't have to, but... Um, now I'm gonna take this contraption. And if you start, like, near the base and then you kind of go out, it gives you a better curl. And this is my favorite mascara. It's by Thrive Cosmetics. It's the liquid lash extensions. It's the best. Oh man, for my eyeshadow, I usually put um under this before I do the highlighters. Brilliant Eye Brighter in the color Aurora by Thrive. Man, I did myself dirty. The thing I look for most in mascara and eyeliner is that it doesn't run down my face. I always get like all this black under here and this one really doesn't do that to me. And this eyeliner too doesn't do it to me. I'll throw this. This is by Mel, and it looks pretty. I just take this fluffy brush by Farah. Doop. A lot of times I won't even put on blush because my cheeks are pretty red. But for you today. I Lips. Watermelon sugar high. Watermelon sugar high. Watermelon sugar high. I got this. I never used this yet. Mm, by Saint Lux. Seems like a nude color. I have very fine lips, but I. I um, console myself by telling myself they're like a nice shape though. Okay, so I don't know if everyone has this problem or if it's just me, but when I line my lips, just my lips, it looks like I miss a spot because there's this skin part that like puffs out. So I, you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but I kind of have to fill in this part right here. I might be messing this up. It's fine. I basically just have to go like under this part. Mm, probably. 
fine. Probably fine. A little uneven, but no one's mad at me about it. I think I got this on a Facebook ad too. <laughs> it's pretty. Okay. And that's the look. 